how do you get prepared? So once you join a board, you, you're you up and running and that you're being contributory on day one. And then maybe second part of the question others jump into is how do you manage board communications with each other and then your communications with management so you can still maintain your oversight responsibility, but also help management make the best decisions that, that they can make. Yeah, so, so I think two pieces to two it pieces, for me. Yeah. Um, one piece is just the general preparation. So um, I took the, uh, the NACD's directorship um, course that they have. I'm in the process of taking their uh, directorship certification so that there's the basics of right board governance, understood. That's number one and kind of a key piece there. Um, the second part is making sure I have conversations with the CEO um, around how do they see me being able to contribute um, to under, along that same path, making sure I've done the research and all the documentation that they've provided from board meetings, et cetera. Um, little things such as setting up uh, alerts to understand what are competitors doing in that space, what are um, uh, uh, potential um, opportunities that are out there so that I can stay up to speed as to what's happening in the industry because it's not my core industry. So that when I'm having the conversations with the CEO, I understand what's happening, what are the trends, and then getting from them very explicitly, how can I best be of service to them? And if, they are, if there's areas where I see something that potentially they're um, not seeing, um, make the suggestion to them. Typically I will do that not in the board meeting itself unless I've had the conversation beforehand. I think blindsiding anyone is a horrible thing. Um, and so making sure I'm having those conversations so that in the board meeting itself, uh, we can make sure that we're having a productive conversation. So those are some of the things that I did.